Alright, so today we're going to talk about how to install and manage your VST plugins in Adobe Audition 3.0. Now, I'm doing this with the assumption that you guys have already installed your plugins because when you get them, you do have to, they have to be someplace. So, um, you already installed them. The key is to know where you saved them at. So, you can find them when you go ahead and install them in Adobe. Now, um, <clears throat> first thing you want to make sure that you're in the edit window second thing you want to go to effects and go all the way down to add vst and uh when you hit the add button this is why you got to know where you store the plugins at because then i'm going to tell you where they are you have to manually go and look for them most of them are stored in your program files and click this folder and you'll see your plugins your waves there you are Click those, double click the ones you want. Mine's are already done, so I'm gonna hit cancel, bow. And again, you can add as many as you like. Some of them are, are more, uh, have more processing powers than other, but you can add as many as you like. You hit okay. The next thing you wanna do is go back before you do anything and go to your manager. Now, I'm not gonna open up this window because it takes a long time for it to load, but when you click it, it's gonna give you a list of all the plugins you had, and you just go down the list and click the ones you want to activate um it's gonna it's gonna refresh update and let me enter in some audio mm. here we go so very my brother there you can take a listen to it i want to start off like my baby mother stupid i got two of them they don't know what to do with it i got two daughters so i'm trying to get it in i'm trying yeah all right now some plugins don't here's the thing i'm using some waves right you have your 32 bit plugins and your 64 bit plugins. You want to, you got your VSTs that I'm right here. Here's the scroll down list. You see, some of them are grayed out because, um, obviously they don't work for mono type waveforms. And some mono type waveforms, because they're mono, they hold less data, are 32. So these are not compatible with 32 bits. And same here with the other, uh, waves. You know, they're not compatible. So you go to direct. And if you install them right, this should be the same thing. Just go to Waves. Now, you know, those are all the ones that were grayed out. Again, you're able to use. And these are the real deal. These are the, the compressors. Um, we have the the API, uh, you know, the stereo EQ emulation. Uh, we also have the, the, the famous Wolver Now SSL uh, compressor, the stereo compressor. This is a good plug-in. Um, looks exactly like the, the one on the board. Um, and caution to the people who use these, try not to use too much as an insert. Go direct if you can, you know, and then save a duplicate of the file that's just plain with no plugins at all if you want to go back and change parameters. Only because it Waves plugins are some of the best, but then they are some of the biggest CPU hogs. But, um, that's how you do your plugins. Um, and then from there, you know, uh, you should have a, uh, but well, this is unsupported. Um, for I guess I don't know some reason, but again, other ones you install, they should be right here, and if they're grayed out because you're you have a mono waveform, please pay attention to that. Then you go to the direct, and uh, there you should see the plugins that were grayed out, and that you're able to use right there. And that is how you install plugins and use them in Adobe Audition 3.0.